With no inversion for the 60 lap late model race Friday night at Kingsport Speedway, pole setter Ronnie McCarty gets to start from the pole. He chose the inside lane, which is unusual. This, uh, this year so far, the outside lane's been fastest, but that just goes to show you the track's always changing and these drivers adapt to find the fastest way around. Second place, 97 Zeke Shell. Third place, number 15, Chris Van Dyke. Derek Lane in fourth, and then Lee Tunnett. Lee, Tunnett, Lee Tissett starts in fifth. Justice, Justin Fontaine in the 60 with six. Those were the six cars that were the main contenders. First caution comes out on lap three. Bruce Blessing from Gate City with a flat. You see sparks flying from that right rear. There you see McCarty on the restart. Shell behind him. And early going, the top six kind of paired off with their own dance partner, McCarty and Shell, first and second. McCarty actually got some distance on Shell in the early going. Behind them in third and fourth, Derek Lane and Chris Van Dyke. And then fifth and sixth, Lee Tissett and Justin Fontaine. They had a pretty heated battle there for several laps. Fontaine challenging Tissett. They're on lap 30. Shell starts putting the heat on McCarty. They did uh, several laps side by side. It looked like maybe some lap traffic might have caused McCarty to have to back off a little bit and Shell ran him down then on lap 40 a little tap, bump and run and Shell takes the lead. McCarty would challenge but there you see the caution comes out on lap 46. Jerry Lane, the 28, spins in turn four. The restart gets a little bit hairy. There you see Shell beside him, McCarty, Van Dyke in third, Lane in fourth. And then Tissett and Fontaine. Uh, Van Dyke takes a nosedive into turn one. Little contact with McCarty. He gets squiggly. A little contact with Lane. They save it. But back to fifth and sixth. McCarty would dive back in there behind Fontaine and maintain fifth. But from then on, it was Shell in the lead without a serious challenge. Yeah, see, he takes the checkered flag, Van Dyke second, Lee Tissett third, Fontaine, McCarty. Well, obviously it was uh, great. I, it was by far the fastest man all year. Uh, you know, I hate to have to take the victory from uh, McCarty like that. I kind of had to move him, but I was sure not to wreck him. And, you know, he got a good shot in me, and it's not like I didn't deserve that. You know, just smart driving. That's what we all had to do.